So in the last video, Boer and I were trying to demonstrate the effects of auditory hallucinations. This is now the lecture on auditory hallucinations on the Necro Hour. We have often heard of individuals pointing towards the existence of God through their reference of hearing God speak to them. However, does this really prove an existence, or can we explain this with psychology? Some people find it hard to accept that the voice inside their head, which often takes on an authoritative tone, may be an auditory hallucination. Auditory hallucinations often appear in the forms of internal words or noises that do not exist and whose origins cannot be found in the outside world. These noises and words are found to be completely separate of the individual's normal cognitive functioning. Nevertheless, auditory hallucinations do occur and the individuals experiencing them encounter them just as you are encountering me speaking to you right now. Many normal individuals often encounter auditory hallucinations during a time of stress. They can present themselves as a comforting voice of a loved one or a parental figure or sometimes even what the individual perceives as a god, giving them helpful advice out of a hard situation. Normally the voices or the sounds call from one side to the other, from up high, down below, or even from the rear. In very serious cases, the voices or sounds are not localized at all. And in very rare cases, the voices seem to be coming from all directions and even straight towards the individual. They can come from many different areas surrounding the individual, from the roof to the basement, from heaven to hell, from very near to far away, and as well sometimes on the individual's body or their clothes. There are even reports of the hallucinations holding the objects through which they communicate. Many normal people still encounter auditory hallucinations frequently. And as far as psychology is concerned, this doesn't necessarily mean a warning sign or a red flag for a mental illness. Our fear of mental illness and the stigma behind hearing voices often means that the individuals experiencing auditory hallucinations don't often report it. My guess is that if the public attitude towards hallucinations were to change, the reports on auditory hallucinations would rise accordingly. That's all the time that we have today on the Necro Hour. Please join me next week for the Existence of Gods Part 2. Like, share, and subscribe, and never be afraid to pursue the why.